All right, y'all. And it's your boy Eddie B back in the motherfucking building once again. And I am joined by my lovely friends here this time. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, so this is going to be the start of my new podcast segment. Uh, I don't have a real uh, name for it at the moment. Um, just going to go with just... Uh, fuck, what are we going to do? Man, just... We'll come back to that later. So as of now, I would like to welcome you guys uh, to my new uh, friends, my new followers. Hello, welcome. And again, I have to do the standard YouTube shit. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you're aware of the new videos anytime I drop. If it's going to be a new vlog or uh, a new interview, just anything. I promise it's going to be worth it. And so what are we doing? Where brings us here? Uh, so with this new beginning that we're going to be starting today and it's approximately 5 22 in the morning today eastern standard time and the whole point of this is that um so to kind of give you a background as far as myself um i started doing podcasting some years ago i want to say i think this was probably 2019 that this started and you know i started with a group of friends well co-workers and we've kind of went through uh changes ever since then and to be completely honest and as far as i would like to give some tips and some guidance as far as any new fellow podcasters or anyone that's looking to get into this it's a lot harder than it looks um as far as the actual filming itself it's pretty easy um i love doing this i love making content um and i love to have dialogue um, but what the thing is, is that um, what I would like to say is that when you're initially starting this off, one, definitely start out with the equipment you have, but definitely have a goal that you would like to set for yourself. Um, as you see in my other videos, we definitely came a long way from where we started. And as time progressed, not only did my equipment got better, uh, my tools and resources, the way that I go about filming things um and just the, the overall look and the sound of it i put a lot of time and effort into it and a lot of research that i had to do personally because i strive to hit a certain mark in a certain level i'm looking at the landscape of podcasting in my i would say like the competition of it and i want to definitely set myself apart from other people that are doing this and how i kind of view that is that i want my podcast to sound that way i want it to look a certain way and you know i definitely want to expand on that i want it to look like a damn near million dollar uh deal or setup as you would say but going back to what i was saying earlier um when you're initially starting out you know definitely have a goal in mind that you're wanting to do if you are going to be doing it with people you want to make sure that everyone is on the same page um so essentially with the group um, the reason why it was hard is because initially people want to start these type of things and they want to get the, they kind of see the, uh, not the end of the road, but the, the kind of the, 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 the glamour of it, the, um, they don't know the work and the process that it takes to get to a certain point. They kind of see what it is currently at the moment with other podcasts that it's, that's are you know, a larger platforms that are making money. And they think it's going to be an overnight thing. With anything you do in life, nothing is overnight. Just unfortunately, um, through social media and through people that are making these videos, different content, um, it's kind of like that uh, short bullshit kind of uh, clout type of videos um, that really kind of get under my skin because it's not really true deal content. There's no real meaning behind it. Um, other than just to get to the attention um, and then when people get this attention they don't know how to deal with it and their stardom is gone quicker than it came you know so they don't know how to deal with it so you just want to make sure that you're getting people on the same page and they have to understand the grind and the work that it takes into it you have to make sure you have to treat this like you would like your job um, a lot of people don't have that kind of discipline um, you have to go out and 
not only set and coordinate times with people and schedules, you just have to have that hunger for it like you would with anything else. And people don't kind of have that, you know, they think it's kind of like a game and they kind of just go about it from there. Um, so what I would say is definitely just make sure you get people that's on the same page. You have a, uh, a goal in mind and everybody works together. And, you know, other than that, and other than that is, you know, it's really fun. Um, but people don't really understand the work that is getting into it. I don't even fully understand. Well, I understand it, but I'm not executing what I need to do. So um, a lot of failed attempts, you know, a lot of people that kind of had different mindsets and what they, you know, kind of pictured that they wanted the podcast to be. Um, but ultimately, none of them, none of these people put in work. That's why you do not see um, that I'm not really making content with any of these people no longer. And nope, not that there's any beef or anything like that. It's just that no one really understands the grind and the work that comes into this and understand that it's going to be a very long time before you see any kind of results, especially what you were doing. Uh, so what we're doing here is definitely making content, but we want something with some kind of um, some heart to it, some soul to it, some meaning to it. And this is not like some quick cash grab or anything that's just going to just, you know, get the internet in a, in a craze and to just get this newfound fame. Um, that was never my goal, my intention. My goal for this whole thing is to uh, initially uh, get in contact and have dialogue with peers and people that I admire um, to try to strive and get to that point, you know, I definitely want to get to the point that I'm, you know, interviewing people that I look up to, you know, big artists, um, independent artists that are coming to the game that I admire, um, that I, you know, actually kind of have like a good vibe with, you know, I'm not going to be interviewing um, people that are just clout chasers that don't really have any type of uh, respect for the culture. So initially, this is going to be something for the culture to drive it forward and something that actually contribute to it because I want this to actually stand the test of time and to be here long after I'm gone um, and something that, you know, I definitely stood for. Uh, so again, so if you're going to be doing this, make sure that you kind of have a game plan together and make sure everybody's on the same page. It's no different if you're a recording artist. You know, if you're making music, it's going to be quite some time before you actually see some results. Um, so you can't kind of get, uh, I, I don't have the exact word, but uh, intimidated, I guess, by the results um, because it's going to definitely take some time. So you have to be patient and you have to just grind. Um, it's just like working out, you know, it's going to be months before you actually see some results. So this is the same thing. And I'm definitely guilty of that. Um, I kind of like, you know, lay back and just thinking that's going to come to me. So anyway, that's the whole point of that um, while we're doing this now and my, uh, I guess, advice, you know, coming up. But to get to the fun shit. So, you know, currently right now I made like a list of some things that I definitely wanted to cover right now. Um, so as far as, you know, some things that, you know, I want to discuss. Um, so something fun um, from way, way back, you know, as you know, um, Eddie definitely loves playing video games. Um, not that I've really been into gaming uh, lately. I haven't really been in, in the correct mental state to really enjoy video games and TVs and shows like I used to, but I'm kind of getting back into that so I can have these kind of discussions and dialogue with people. But uh, so there's a new trailer for Mortal Kombat that came out. They're calling it Mortal Kombat 1. So from what I'm hearing, this is almost like a soft reboot. This is going to come from the last video game that came out, Mortal Kombat 11. So it is going to piggyback off the storyline and also the extended storyline, I guess, of Aftermath. I didn't get to play the Aftermath part, but the game itself, very solid game, really great graphics. Uh, the storyline was amazing. Um, and it kind of just, you know, put, you know, things together and it just looked great and phenomenal. And I'm glad that that uh, franchise is still around for almost 30 years now, I guess. I don't know. They've been out for a very long time. So definitely salute to NetherRealm and that team out there for making quality content. But this game already looks amazing. Um, they have lately been making these trailers um, from in-game gameplay. So I'm hoping that everything that we're seeing in the trailer is actually going to be what the game looks like. Um, but it looks amazing. Um, Liu Kang is starting off as um, as a god, and you see like Kung Lao, um, and you see Shang Tsung's back in the picture now. Um, you see even bits of like Sub Zero and Scorpion, which you know my favorites. So 
um, kind of like a guess, like a new timeline in a rebrand almost as like uh, Mortal Kombat in itself. So um, the game is now slated to come out sometime in September for, you know, majority of the platforms it's out. Um, and I'm very excited for that. Um, as far as recently other games that came out as pretty big was Resident Evil 4. I played the fuck out of it. Um, and even they release uh, some new content for that as far as like Mercenaries mode. Um, which brings it back to the original game when it came out on GameCube in the early 2000s. Um, with different set of characters, not that many stages. Um, hopefully they'll be able to add to it. Um, I want to get into later in another time about my full review of the game. Um, but I give it a good uh, 8 out of 10. Um, it looks great. Um, it plays great. Um, but just it's not traditionally what I've known Resident Evil be. But it's just a remaster or remake of the original Part 4. Which kind of encompasses what it was. Which was like it kind of started off horror. And then it kind of ended up into like straight action game type of shit. Or whatever the case is. Um, other than that... Um, I don't know what else is coming out in games. Oh, um, and then you have Street Fighter that's going to be coming out soon too. Street Fighter Six. Um, they have like a uh, like this system now that you can be able to explore. You get to make your own avatar, and you get to learn uh, fighting moves from other fighters, like from the, actually in the main game itself. It looks great. Um, the play style is going to be different from what we we're expected to be. Um, there's like an easy style, which is like your like one button is like combos. You can play the traditional way. Um, but, um, the game definitely gives me kind of like Street Fighter 3 vibes a little bit, kind of gives like that hip hop kind of music kind of, uh, vibe to it, which is great, you know, so I like that they're kind of putting into the culture, um, which is cool too. And then later on down the line, we do have Tekken 8 that's also coming out, really looks great as well. Um, so hopefully when those games come out, you know, we get to be able to, you know, ultimately try them out and see how they come, but, you know, hopefully it looks, you know. Well, not hopefully. It, it does look good, and you know we'll go kind of go from there um, when the game comes out. But um, moving right along from there. Uh, so as far as movies, uh, we had Guardians of the Galaxy come out not too long ago. Got to be able to check that out. Um, the movie was pretty decent. Um, it's a lot better than what I expected to be. Um, the director of the movie was James Gunn. I believe this is going to be the last of the franchise. Um, and also his ties with Marvel. I believe he has moved on to bigger and better things. And how it's going to be starting his own uh, universe with DC. So that's going to be a different look. I believe they're kind of going through their rebranding. Um, because they try to keep up with Marvel as we all know. Um, that process has not been the best process. And we've kind of had these movies that we hated to love it. Um, they kind of have like different universes out there, so they're kind of trying to start from the ground up and kind of do what Marvel did. Um, now going back to Marvel, um, lately the movies have been ass um, to me. Um, I feel like it didn't really have like there's really no direction after Thanos has been gone, and just the movies to me just didn't have a really like a soul to it. It's like the stories are really easy to come across, and there's not really anything that's like standing out or surprising. Um, really easy copy and paste cookie cutter type of shit you know it's um we have a villain that's introduced into the movie um and then they die at the end of the movie you never really see them again um other than ant-man um which was uh, a really mid movie as well um you know the the more i would say stand out of the movie of course was the villain which is jonathan majors who does play as the main villain um now, for that, I've heard that there's going to be some changes. Unfortunately, Jonathan Majors has been in the news for all the wrong reasons currently at the moment. Um, so um, a lot of brands have been dropping him um, from, you know, commercial deals, or just deals in general, which is crazy because he's been on this role, um, you know, with movies and setting the tone up for other movies to come. Um, I believe he had even a Dennis Rodman um, by pick that was supposed to be in the works now and he had a multi-picture deal um with marvel um as the villain uh king, was it king the king the warrior or something like king king the conqueror or something like that um i believe he played that role really well but ultimately we got to see unfortunately how these things play out in the in courts 
um, if he is going to be moving further um, as, you know, with Marvel. Um, but, you know, definitely um, when it comes to those things, as far as like domestic violence, um, it's a really touchy subject. You know, I dealt with that recently myself and, you know, hopefully that, you know, everyone, all the parties involved, um, hopefully everything gets worked out and, um, and hopefully he didn't do that shit. You know, if he did do that shit, you know, he's an asshole. Um, but ultimately those are things that, you know, is a touchy subject and you just want to make sure that all parties involved, um, get the help they need and are able to move on and be able to, you know, go on their lives ultimately. So, uh, definitely with that, um, as far as staying on like the movie, uh, kind of like realm right now, you know, of course, right now, the new fast movie just came out, um, just defying the odds as far as like reality and shit um currently right now um i believe kevin on stage has started a twitter uh conversation as far as you know what point you know in the franchise do you know do, where you just like man we're like what the fuck like what is happening here so if you do have a moment definitely get on twitter um or i believe kevin on stage has put that on his instagram and kind of just you know let the fans you know kind of just you know re you know retell their moments that they just knew like you know this movie was out of there well, I, will I go see it? You know, I might, you know, um, I'm not in no rush anymore. I do actually love going to the movies and the experience of it. Um, you know, I guess it's just one of the movies that, you know, you're definitely not supposed to take serious and just, you know, just go there just to enjoy it. And, you know, I think this is supposed to be one of the last in the series. Um, but I've have heard um, from some of the critics um, and from just the people in general um that uh the main villain is uh his name is jason momoa uh the same guy that played aquaman um did a hell of a job as a villain in the movie um but it's just one of those you know fast-paced action like i mean it's this is the, the what 10th movie by now so we kind of know what's to come you know of that so you know if you go out and you know check it out you know let me know in the comments or just hit me up through the dm and just let me know how you felt about the movie and if it's something that would you you know definitely uh recommend for you know friends and family um now kind of on the same page moving along you know with um the entertainment realm um we've been hearing you know through the culture that jamie fox has uh been going through some health issues um, as, as you already guys already know, Jamie Foxx is definitely one of my top five actors, um, or just, I wouldn't even just put him in a box as an actor. Um, just one of the top five entertainers of all time. The man can act his ass off. He can sing his ass off. He can tell his joke, like jokes, like a motherfucker. Um, just overall, just great body of work. And I just love watching his interviews or anything that he has a finger on. Um, it's also rumored that he's supposed to be playing one of my favorite anti-superheroes, um, anti-heroes in Spawn, um, which is still in the works right now. Um, I believe the same studio that made Saw is in the running to actually produce the movie. Um, Todd McFarlane has been giving the updates here and there, um, but ultimately, you know, with Jamie going through um, his health issues, um, that's definitely going to hold the movie up. But ultimately, what we just care about is that Jamie and his family um, definitely have, you know, prayers and hopefully definitely for the best and hopefully he's doing well. Um, so the issue right now is that a lot of people are just kind of just like talking and not really hearing from the family itself. And these are the situations, I guess, that right now we're in the times that people are in the habit of oversharing shit. Or just um, speaking out of their ass without even really knowing. So a lot of news outlets have been kind of getting burned by that. Uh, just by reporting, you know, just false information. Um, so right now, um, I would imagine that, you know, definitely the family just wants their privacy and their respect. Um, whatever they're dealing with. And hopefully, we're, um, we're everybody I know, um, we're all praying and hoping for a speedy recovery for the Fox family and him himself. And, you know, we would definitely like to, you know, whenever he's ready, of course. Um, to get back into the entertainment realm because um, we definitely miss them there. Um, so definitely shout out to the family. Um, but um, <clears throat> I want to say as far as like music right now, um, I'm not really listening to anything new. I kind of keep the same rotation as far as artists. And I'm just waiting to see when they initially come out with something more. Um, so as you already know, it's a uh, free band gang for life. You know, uh, my dog, uh, Future um should be coming out with some music soon there's been some rumors uh 
from some close people that's within his camp have been saying that we are truly getting a dirty sprite three i'm excited i was just listening to uh thought it was a drought and groupies um the other day off of uh dirty sprite 2 um which is a classic classic album um uh, future was on a roll last year with um that last album that he had um i love that album from start to finish i believe that's one of the best like first five starting songs in an album in a while other than her loss with uh drake and 21 savage um so it was a great project where everybody's excited to see you know when that album comes out um his close camps you know people have been like doughboy and i believe like scooter um has definitely said that you know that's going to be coming out so i'm definitely looking forward to that um also we're supposed to be getting a versus soon um i believe it's going to be with jermaine Dupri and diddy um it's going to be a toss-up i say that i'm going to go with diddy uh just for the fact that um the musical acts that he's brought into the game not taken away from jermaine Dupri at all but you know just in the early 2000s and 90s you know diddy was definitely on a run as far as like rap music and a lot of like you know club bangers and outlets um that he has made from that time um, so that's going to be really nice to see. I believe that's going to be sometime definitely later on this year. So um, I don't think we had a versus in a while. So that's going to be great. Um, other than that, in the music, um, what's also a big topic right now is the AI music that's coming out. Um, so right now they're making songs um, through AI, through artists that are not even alive anymore or just making these fake songs. Um, I've heard the remix of like I Spice songs that are sung by Drake. Um, apparently there are songs out there with Michael Jackson. Um, I watched a hot boxing episode of Teno Yeo, and apparently I believe there's like a mini men version that has Tupac and Biggie on it. Um, it's just crazy right now. I don't know how I particularly feel on it. Um, I do believe that when an artist pass, um, typically their music that comes out after that is not typically their great work just for the fact that the artists themselves haven't really put an input into it um, even now artists are now saying that when they do pass they actually put it i guess i don't know how it works but they're putting it somewhere that you know they do not want their music released after they pass because they didn't have as an artist you know they didn't really have any creative control into that process and they want whatever final product that they put out to be something that they cleared personally um i would love to hear the next michael jackson album more than anybody else but being that this wasn't his vision or anything that he created um i'm not really going to be able to know that i can really love a project that you know was generally you know created by you know the system and computers but at the end of the day i believe also too like if you are an established adders um that this kind of could be like a shortcut for you because apparently if you generate a song let's say that i'm drake and i generate a song and that person that generates a song won't be able to get paid for it because i believe our, uh, technically the artist can sue um for that um so if i make up this bullshit song it's almost like a concept song like a script so it's already been made or whatever and if it sounds good they can be able to go in there kind of just recreate their sound naturally with their voices and through the studio and then from there be able to make the tweaks and the part the producers can do their little one two and you know jazz it up so i believe this would be kind of like a shortcut so i believe this would be definitely something that maybe current artists are probably looking to uh to probably help that process you know because in the process of actually creating something can be definitely hard within that so we'll see um technology is ever evolving ever ever so greatly um you know if you're not paying attention you know we're already on you know the the iphone fucking like 13 or whatever shit so you know who knows man they got fucking robots out here they got robot dogs and all kinds of shit so it's pretty scary um but you know ultimately there are some good things that come out of these things so only time can tell but definitely got to be aware of those things and you know definitely keep up uh, i want to say the last thing we want to be able to discuss today if i'm not mistaken i don't know my notes and my fucking yeah, i just shit doesn't want to work i'm just going to go off of it but i think it's uh the playoffs so as you guys already know, um, I am a Lakers fan right now, currently at the moment. Um, 
I'm actually a LeBron James fan, so I go wherever he goes. So it is what it is. Uh, currently, right now, as of today's date, um, it's now Monday. Like I said, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, currently, right now, in the playoff race right now, we are in the Western Conference Finals and also the Eastern Conference Finals. And we have the Lakers playing the Nuggets. If you don't know and you're laying under the rock or just sports is not your thing, you can be able to end this video. It's nice talking to you. And in the East, we have Miami and Boston. Um, I feel as a Lakers fan, we're already, ha I'm happy uh, personally that I feel like almost like we won a championship just by taking Steph Curry and the Warriors out of the playoffs. I'm not a Warriors fan at all. Um, but shout out to Steph and that team um, and Draymond. Um, you know, that was definitely an exciting and scary series. Um, the boys can get hot out of nowhere, but ultimately we're able to grind it out and get through that win. So I'm really excited about that. But currently right now we're getting our asses whooped by Denver. Man, just they're that team. Um, and I don't know, I'm guilty of not really watching the Nuggets um, all year. But the last time when they were actually in the conference, you know, finals, um, you know, they were a really good, solid team, but you know, I don't know any niggas or my, you know, that I know of that are like Nuggets fans. Um, last time I knew that niggas was Nuggets fans is when Melo was playing for the Nuggets. And other than that, you know, I don't, nobody's really caring about Jokic and Jamal Murray. Um, but that team along with KCP, they've been lighting us up. Um, they're making the, the right plays. Their defense is, you know, okay. But their offense is just outstanding. They're making all their shots. It's hard for them to, you know, have them miss a shot. We're daring uh, Aaron Gordon when he's open, but he's making his shots when he's open. KCP, who is an ex-Lakers uh, player, has been going crazy. We're just not having an answer. Um, our offense has been really stagnant. We're really bad when we're coming off that trans uh, transitional like defense, like getting back on defense. Um, we're really bad off of that. Um, we've been getting better on the boards. AD's been up, down, up, down. Um, LeBron has been okay in these series. Um, I believe he's still hurt with his ankle. And sources are saying that he is going to be ultimately having some kind of like surgery outside um, once he uh, the season ends, which I see that happening. You know, I'm not really seeing him go, you know, with a crazy like 40-point 40, 40 game, which I believe a healthy LeBron um would be doing at this point but it's just not happening um our team is just not creating that that offense we're missing our shots the only consistent players that we've been having have been austin Reeves and Rui. um d low has just been just horrible on offense in this series i don't know what's happened because he's been definitely one of our uh go-to guys you know during that that uh that warriors matchup um, I definitely, definitely still am putting Schroeder over him. I believe he has better defense. Um, his offense has been kind of like stagnant too, but I know he's very capable of it like D'Lo. Um, hopefully uh, D'Lo can be able to get that rhythm and start making his shots because um, they're just lighting us up, the Nuggets, man. And they're making, you know, everybody's like making their threes. And Jamal Murray, we don't really have an answer for him. Um, it, it's just bad um they're they're making everything and it's it's scary um you know we thought we were going to be getting you know this you know lakers in boston which you know would have the ratings go over the roof but just these teams are not doing you know good i don't really feel bad for boston you know fuck that team um but um as just today ended um they got you know slaughtered by miami and their last game is going to be in miami itself and um that team is just doing amazing um playoff jimmy is just not a it's not a myth man he's just going crazy and he's definitely setting the guys up you know on that team and they're um really good in transition they're hitting their their, their shots and their threes and you know the team overall is being hot and i honestly did not see this coming from the heat um but they're a perfect example of a team that's really taken uh, advantage of their situation and you know really just turn on that playoff switch and they've been playing hard um basketball and just boston doesn't have an answer for it so i guess right now that's the best thing for me um i, I guess that's going to be the second team i'm going for because at one point lebron was with miami and i am in florida so i'm gonna go for 
you know, the next Florida team. So, and not just, you know, fuck Boston. Uh, so I guess that's something to be happy about. Um, but right now, as it looks, because no team has ever came back from 0-3 deficit, you know, we've had, you know, my team, my guy LeBron, has came back from a 3-1 deficit, of course, when they won the championship against the Warriors. But I don't think that in this hole, you know, from, you know, 0-3, um, especially how the roster is looking and how um, LeBron's health is, um, I really don't foresee that happen. I would love for that to happen, um, but I'm not seeing that. Um, but currently right now, it looks like that it's going to be uh, Miami and the Nuggets. Um, but other than that, um, <clears throat> you know, we definitely spent some time today. Hopefully we got to uh, kind of establish, you know, a little bit more, you know, openness. You know, this is a more like relaxed, like pod. This is just some things I want to talk about, um, you know, instead of just rushing through a sneaker review or whatever. So this is the more of the lane that I'm wanting to speak on and just do and, you know, kind of just cover some topics and just see how you guys feel. Um, so, you know, if there's anything that I cover that you feel like I missed something or something you disagree with me about, you know, definitely I'm always open for the dialogue. You know, I love it when it comes to things that I, you know, you know, do care about, um, you know, is any of those games that you guys are looking out for or any movie that, you know, stands out for you, um, or you're just, you know, don't give really fuck about NBA and right now you can't wait for football. You know, what's your stance on it? Let me know. But other than that, I would like to thank you again for taking the time out. And, you know, I don't know how long this come out for. This is only 30 minutes. So this is probably going to be the speed that we're looking at or maybe longer, depending. Um, but definitely stay tuned. We're going to be having some guests and some other topics and some other videos we're going to be doing as well. Um, but, yeah, you know, definitely, again, uh, thank you. And I look forward to this. And i like, you know, to see you guys again. So other than that, make sure you keep your mind right, show love and appreciation to the people that care about you and make sure you show it back, you know, because they always said that, you know, um, growing up, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. And I feel like once we, we've kind of lost that sense right now, people are doing a lot of violent things and, you know, we want to make sure that we stay safe. So make sure you stay uh, prayed up and positive energy and you know start listening to some positive music too you know you got bitches you know running around listening to um uh, my my booty hole brown and the pussy pink and all this other shit and um all these type of music which is cool you know there's a time and place for everything but you know you definitely gotta you know i believe that music and good vibes do dictate your mood so just make sure you kind of balance it out you know what i'm saying like you can thug it out at certain times or you're at the gym or whatever but you know Put on something positive, you know, watch something positive and play something positive. I know I'm rambling right now. I'm supposed to wrap this up, but again, uh, so <laughs> this is uh, this is it again for now. So again, thank you. Like to see you soon. Stay positive. Until next time, it's your boy, Eddie B, signing out. Peace.